This video is sponsored by Wix Filters. Visit wixfilters.com for more information. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Morgan, editor of Fleet Equipment, and this is Fleet Equipment's On The Road. Our travel schedule took the FE team across the country last month. The biggest news was the unveiling of Daimler Trucks all-electric heavy-duty Class A E Cascadia and the medium-duty E M2 trucks, signaling an all-in approach to electrification. E Cascadia has up to 730 peak horsepower. The batteries provide 550 kilowatt hours of usable capacity with a range of up to 250 miles, and they have the ability to charge up to 80% in about 90 minutes to provide a range of 200 miles. The EM2 has a peak horsepower of 480. The batteries provide 325 kilowatt hour of usable capacity and a range of 230 miles with the ability to charge up to 80% in about 60 minutes to provide 184 miles in range. DTNA is aiming to start production in 2021. Be sure to read Fleet Equipment's July cover story for an exclusive interview with DTNA President and CEO Roger Nielsen about DTNA's electric truck strategy. Shell announced the results of its Starship concept truck, which employs real-world technologies. The truck achieved an average of 8.94 mpg, which bests the national average for Class A trucks at 6.4 mpg and a freight ton efficiency of 178, which is 248% better than the national average of 72. At a press event in Indianapolis, ZF demonstrated its on-track lane keep assist technology, which provides lane keeping assistance by applying hand wheel torque that urges vehicles away from the lane boundary. ZF stressed that this is a driver assistance technology and the driver is still required to keep his hands on the wheel at all times. ZF also announced its new Powerline Automatic Transmission, an 8-speed automatic transmission for commercial vehicles up to 57,000 pounds. Powerline features up to 1,000 pound-feet engine torque, ZF's patented 8-speed gear set, and intelligent skip shift to improve acceleration performance. ZF plans to release the transmission globally by 2020. For more in-depth truck equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.